Welcome to this tutorial request in which we will be working further on our advanced combo system and just improving upon it. So let's just jump into it and I'll show you what we have to begin with and what we will be doing moving forward. Before we continue with the video, if you like what I'm doing here on this channel, please consider subscribing. It helps the channel a lot. Anyway, let's get back to the video. So this is what we will be creating today. Now this is building on the advanced combo system. So I'll put a link in the video up in the top right and in the description if you want to start and create that first, of course, because you, you need to have that to improve upon it, of course. But what we have essentially made now is the ability to, instead of having the animation being interrupted in the beginning by just spamming the key, we have now created an attack window, which allows you to uh, accept an input for the next combo. And making the transitions between the animations very smooth and also not making use of any delays or any special hacky functionality to make it work. So now if I spam my keys you can see that it will transition perfectly fine between the, the different animation combinations that are set up to be part of the combo. Yeah, and that's what we will be creating today. So here we are inside of Unreal Engine 4.26 and this is the system where we left it off at the beginning of the tutorial for the advanced combo system. And essentially what we have here is we have the ability where we can just spam a button and you can see that it just keeps moving. Uh, it's a little bit easier. It's, it's doing the animations but it's sort of like uh, I have these large windows where you're allowed to transition to the next uh, combo. So if we just slow down, slow down these animations and reduce the windows for a little bit, it will become a little bit more clear what is happening. So if we do it like that, we have smaller windows to actually move into the next part of the combo and the combinations or the animations overall should just move slower now. So if we were to press a button now you can see that it's going much slower. And essentially if we were to spam in the beginning like this, this is the problem or the, the issue that we're going to be fixing today, which is like uh, the animations keep allowing to uh, being spammed and then thus interrupting the animation, not allowing a transition. So we will uh, enhance upon the system further to show you how easy it is to build upon this to so make it uh, look much nicer. So how do we do this? Well, it's very simple actually, because we want to avoid delays like I started talking about in the original tutorial. What we have is essentially these two different uh, parts of the animations which we can make use of. So we have the event set next combo segment and this is done as soon as a segment is uh, showing up. So like these segments here in the notification states. So when one of those starts, we will open up the combo segment to uh, say what the next combo is and whenever we have determined that we have passed a combo state meaning we're past one of these uh, end states then we're setting it back to default saying we should go back to our default state when it comes to the uh, next section of the montage animation to play and we can make use of this to make our animations uh, much more fluid and we can actually use this as our attack window so if we increase or increase, we create a boolean and we say um, attack window open. And then we just set this over here. So when we get over here, when we get the next segment, that's then the start of a combo segment. So that's when our attack window is open. And we set this to be false over here. That's when our attack window will be closed. To make this even more clear, we can also print out these values. So whenever the combo system is going to, or the attack window is open, it's going to be printing out true. And when it's closed, it's going to be printing out false. Like so. <clears throat> so to demonstrate this now, if we make an attack, you can see it will say true, and then it will go back to false. So that is the, the part of our attack window then essentially. So now we have essentially done all of the logic that we need to do to have this work. What we only need to do now is go back to our event play combo montage, which is actually when we're taking a command and saying we should be playing an animation. And we want this only to be possible when an attack window is open. So we'll just drag out our attack window like so. And then we want to have a branch to compare against. And when it's true, we want to keep playing it that way. 
otherwise we want to disregard the input. However, there is one uh, situation here, and this might vary from uh, your project to this project. But in this project, we want to also determine that we're not, if because we're going to have a attack window closed at the start when we're just standing, not doing an animation, when we're idling. So we want to make sure that that is also allowing us to take the input. So how we do this is, in this case, we can go and say, is any montage playing? And then take the opposite of that because we want to have it not playing. And then we just add these together. Or add, we, we and them together. And then we hook them up like so. So this will be our condition now saying that we want to have both that we're not playing an animation or we're not playing a, we're not playing a montage. Sorry, this should not be an or. Uh, uh, no, this should be an or because we want to have an or condition, of course. Like so. So we want to have either when we're not playing an animation, an, a montage animation, or our attack window to be open, then we want to allow an attack. Like so. So compiling this and saving and going out, we have now managed to hook up functionality so we can now spam a button and you can see that it will smoothly transition between the different animations in the specific combo that it is set up because it's only allowed to to take the input uh, when it gets to a certain part of the animation which allows uh, the transition between the different uh, montages to be smooth as well in the attack combination so yeah that's all we needed to do to solve this hopefully you found this video helpful if you liked the video leave a like if you did not like it leave a dislike leave any suggestions or comments you have down below subscribe and share this video if you want to see more like it in the future that is all for now keep on learning take care